Hey YouTube, Steve here. I got an interesting build here. This is April 5th? It's Easter holiday, 2015. What we have here is an ozone generator that I constructed with my friend. Um, what you do with your ozone generator is up to you, but some people put ozone into their water and drink it, some people put it into their vegetables and the uh, ozone would uh, extract the, uh, the uh, pesticides and dirt and whatever out of the fruits and vegetables and into the water. It's supposed to be more healthy. But how do you build this? Well, I'm going to tell you. First off, you want to go to Amazon. Get yourself one of these right here. Uh, this is a 3 gram or a 3,000 milligram. I'll put a link below the video in the video description to where you can get yours at. I got mine off of Amazon. It's, uh, it's hunting around all over the place, but it's the best bang for the buck. Super high quality. Totally recommended it. It's about $25, give or take a few bucks. Usually you can get free shipping. Uh, this is the America, Pennsylvania I'm in right now. Uh, Pennsylvania, Maryland. I'm actually in Maryland right now, visiting in person. Um, but this one is 110 volt. So make sure you buy the 110 volt. Uh, sometimes they say 110 slash 220. Usually they work both ways, but anyway, this is what we got here. We have a surge protector with a cord I salvaged, and you want to make sure that you got your hot cord, which is, in our case, black. You want your hot cord attached to the red cord of this power inverter. And then you want this white cord, which is ground or neutral connected to the blue cord. Now different countries have different color codes, but I did the work for you here. Um, now do this, at, do this at your own risk. I do not recommend you plug any of this into the wall, but if you do, it'll work. Probably, maybe. No, it works. Um, but you're, <laughs> fire this up at your own risk. Um, anyway, so black's hot, coming straight from the wall. Um, in China, red is hot. In America, white is ground, and in China, blue is ground. We got two electrodes coming out of here. They are pre-attached to this uh, three gram tube here. Air comes in here, and air exits here. But you want to push air in here, so you hook it up to one of these um, aerators from a fish tank. So the room air comes in this way, gets pushed out, and goes, shoots right through here, and as it gets shot through here, it, the room air becomes um, a part of a third particle um, becomes uh, O3, uh, known as ozone, and it shoots through here, becomes electrified or whatever, comes out of this tube, wraps around, and goes into the water here, or the water here. And, you just, and if you look up a line, you can, you can see how long to do it for. Um, usually 20 minutes on, you can have it on for, and, and have it off for 30 minutes, let it cool down. And 20 minutes on, 30 minutes off. What do we have here to keep it cool is we got a fan mounted right here. But we didn't use it because we didn't get another inverter yet. But we have this fan here that's blowing down onto here to keep it cool. So that's very important. Make sure you have a fan running. So what I did was I took the plate off of here to show you the guts inside. A simple power inverter. Do not touch any of this when you once you throw that switch over there, that red switch. Right now it's off. But when you throw this, you back away. Don't let anyone go near it. Your clothing, your hair, water, nothing. Keep everything away. Again, turn this on at your own risk. Uh, but I'm going to fire it up show you how it works. So as I said, I got uh, the fan plugged in here. I have the um, this one right here is actually the hot uh, wall, uh, the mains coming in. And this right here is for the aerator. This. So I'm going to flip this switch, all three will turn on at the same time. And this will create a really funky smell. And that funky smell is the ozone. So let's try it out, shall we? Here we go. Let's make sure everything's clear. Nothing is touching. Remember, this is not hooked up to anything. I didn't do that yet. But we have this fan on here. And we're ready to fire it up. So here we go. Alright, so what we got going on here is we have um, 110 AC coming in going in here. This um, on it says 110 volt and this is making this current even stronger to create an arc inside of here from there to there and it causes the, the oxygen to uh, the room air which is mixed with oxygen, hydrogen, etc. but the oxygen gets an extra uh, electron and it becomes O3 as the air, room air comes in here 
gets shot through here and pushed through with the aerator. It comes out as O3 and then goes into here. And as you see, it's bubbling. And you can also uh, put your fruits and vegetables in there or put your fruits and vegetables over here. Uh, but people have done this for all different things. People put it on their skin, people wash their hands with it, people wash their fruits and vegetables, uh, people drink it. Um, I'm not telling you what to do with it, I'm just showing you how to build one. So again, um, if you want to pick up this kit, which is just this, and this, let me turn this off. If you want to pick up this kit off of Amazon, you can get this 3G or 3 gram per hour um, tube, air, ozone tube, and the, this here. But you're going to have to pick up your own little fan. Um, you can pull this out of an old computer case if you want and hook it up to a, uh, a USB cord with like a 1 volt by uh, uh, 5 volt by 1 amp connector. Um, you can get one of these at Radio Shack or AutoZone or whatever, 5 bucks, maybe uh, your big box store. Um, and um, this was a wooden board I salvaged. But you can get this for about 25 bucks. I'll put the link below the video so you can go ahead and get this without hunting around for one. Uh, this is a very reputable seller that came really fast on time. It was about four weeks. It did come from China, but uh, all these are made in China. Um, so if you like the effort I put into this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know you like the stuff I'm making. If you want to see more videos about all kinds of outdoor stuff, um, electronic reviews, and stuff like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to pick this up, go ahead and click the link below uh, the video in the description. It'll take you right over to Amazon where you can pick it up. The same as that one I got. It's the best bang for the buck on, on the internet. Um, if you have any, have any questions, please write them below, and I'll be do my best to respond to them. But please read the questions and answers that other people have written below. So, you know. So with that said, again, we're in uh, April 2015. And I want to wish everyone happy holidays around the world if you do do that kind of stuff. And have a great one. Steve out.